Did you hear about that alien apocalypse? What alien apocalypse? You know, the one on TV. You serious? Yeah. I was You're watching, joking. I was That's... watching News at 11. Alien apocalypse. You gotta be kidding. Man, it's coming. It's already come to some places. You don't even want to know. I don't want to know. You don't want to know. I don't know what we're going to do. Dude, we should just get out of here. Let's just go on the news and see what happens. Yeah. Yeah, like 3.30, I saw a flash of light. It was, it was like really weird, kind of like lightning. You know, and it was like, at first I thought I turned around and looked at the sun, but then I realized it, was, it took up like half of the sky, like 180 degrees, and it was like three seconds. You know, I'm like really, I'm kind of worried. Like, I don't know what's going on. The Department of Defense has spent at least $22 million since 2007 looking into UFO sightings. Former Nevada Senator Harry Reid, who helped secure the funding for the program, telling the New York Times, I think it's one of the good things I did in my congressional service. I've done something that no one has done before. And now the Pentagon officially acknowledging its advanced aviation threat identification program for the first time. That's awful. Awesome. I want to hide out of my video studio. It's kind of a mess, but I think it'll do. And it'll keep the aliens away. Secure the borders here. What are you doing? It doesn't do anything. Wait, what? Is there just boards? Like, in the ceiling? Yeah, I'm gonna get more duct tape, obviously, but... And we can hide out upstairs. Okay. We need to make a plan. Okay, fine. Let's strategize this, alright? Because I'm not, I'm not very effective with uh, communication. This is simple. We focus on keeping the aliens out of this room. Look, I think if the aliens were to go anywhere, they'd definitely go outside because they have never seen life on Earth before. We don't so know any better idea. Well, we're not gonna leave. Dude, the over. first thing they'll go towards is our electronics. This could be helpful. We could tie something. But we don't know if they're like gonna. We don't know. We can't assume anything. They're gonna attack us and our families. I don't know. We have to try, dude. Hey, do you think we could use this sign to try to like communicate with the aliens? I'm fat. What? No, no, no. I'm being serious. Do you think we could use this sign to try to communicate with the aliens? You know, I think like, we use this or that. I don't really you care. To G Bo to E O. Do you think that'll work? Though? I don't know. Maybe like, I mean, maybe like, maybe like. I mean, it's just. I mean, it doesn't hurt to try. I mean, Ebo, Tebo, J. Yeah. I mean, is there any word? Just, uh, one, we need to, one. We need to say something that'll keep them away. Do you know any alien? I mean, I don't know any alien. Ever, no, I don't I mean, know. I don't any know if alien. anybody does. I mean, could we like make a picture? Dude, look what I found. Look, a ton of bats. Yo. Dude, I found all these out in the shed. That's amazing. Should we hide in the shed or in here? No, no, here's better. But yeah, but that's they were great. Okay, all right, good, good, good. Take one. Yeah. Take one. Yeah. Attention, aliens. We're looking for you. you. Better come out here. We got Morse code with bats. Yo, 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 what are you doing? I'm breaking this so we can use it as a weapon. I think it's good enough to use it as a weapon. Is that a bad idea or what? I mean, I don't know, I just don't want to, like, there's no need for us to, like, get hurt ourselves. I mean, the aliens is one. I think it could break off pretty easily. Like, if we actually try. Dude. That's like metal. Like, dude, like, dude, I can't, I can't, I can't be a part of this. What if I just go like this? Like, yeah. Bend it, like. Come on. 